Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. In today's video, we're gonna look at um, cleaning and refreshing your K&N uh, washable cabin air filter. Now, this one is from my 2019 Chevy Traverse, but it's the same for any K&N um, washable cabin air filter. So, I went ahead and picked up the K&N cabin air filter uh, refresher kit comes with the a bottle of cleaner and the refresher that they call that they want you to spray on and i'm just going to take you through the steps uh, on how to do this so the first step is to remove the filter out of your car uh, check with your manufacturer on how to do that or you know youtube so step one so i just pulled it out air flows um, like this from top to the bottom is to basically shake out any loose debris that might be in here. Now I put this filter in a year ago and I'm shaking it out onto this uh, paper towel here just so you can see the amount of uh, loose dirt that is kind of in here. You can also see uh, some things that don't necessarily fall right out. I'll give it a bit of a whack here, tap it from the back. Just, we wanna get all this uh, loose debris out. Next step is I'm gonna set you guys up outside next to my water source, and we are going to use the cleaner to clean this filter. So let's go outside. All right, we're set up outside. So you're gonna need some kind of water source, like a garden hose or something. And you're going to want to apply the K&N, the cleaner part, to the top side of the filter. So the top side is where the air comes in like this and exited, exits like that into your vehicle. K&N says uh, to pump a liberal amount onto your filter. That's what we're going to do. Get everything nice and moist. Don't be afraid to use it. As I say, this will help loosen any dirt since these filters are kind of oily. Okay, now K&N says to let this sit for about 10 minutes, but don't let it dry. So I'm gonna wait about five to 10 minutes, keep an eye on it, and then we're gonna start rinsing it. And at that point, we'll get back to the video. So it's been about five to 10 minutes, and now we're going to rinse it out. And now the way you have to rinse it is from the clean side, so from the bottom side to the top, because you want to flush everything out. So I get your water hose and start rinsing. And you just want to do this until your water comes out clear, until all the loose debris has been flushed out, any, you know, bigger ones. So you can do this with cold or warm water. They just say don't use hot water, but cold or warm. I'm trying to stay in frame here for you guys. And it'll bring it back to this silver grayish color. the way we want it to be. All right, so next step is to let your filter uh, air dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be completely dry, just a little drier than it is now. So I'm gonna place it uh, over here to the right of the camera where you probably can't see here in the sun. And I'll get back to you with the step after this one, which is gonna be applying the refresher. Okay, so the filter has been air drying out here for, uh, about a half an hour. 
It's still got some water in on the side. Give it a little bit of shake. But all in all, the element itself feels rather dryish. So remember, uh, this is the top on these. You can uh, tell it because the the writing. When you can read the writing, means that's the top. So the air flows from like that top down. So next step is to liberally, liberally spray on this uh, refresher stuff, which should help eliminate any uh, bad odors that might be uh, trapped in the filter. And I don't know. Just clean everything nicely, kill any bacteria, stuff like that. So we are going to nicely spray this on here. Make sure to get all the nooks and crannies. Eh, slides and scent to it, nothing special. Okay, and now we are going to reinstall this in the car. And that's it. That's how you uh, wash and recharge, so to speak, your um, K&N cabin air filter. Um, all in all, it takes approximately, I would say, 45 minutes from start to finish, just because you have to let the stuff soak in and dry and all that stuff. But um, yeah, K&N says you should do it every 12 months or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first. With me, it was the time, so it was about a year and a half past since I installed it. And yeah, I'm gonna do this again next year because I don't drive so many miles, and yeah, that's about it. So I hope this video helped you guys. I'm gonna go install this back into my car, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.